All right, I'm just going to do a quick overview of where I'm at with the Hexcopter project, uh, give a quick rundown of my equipment, and do a short test flight here. Um, this is my video receiver. This receives the live video uh, from the transmitter that's on board the Hexcopter. And right now I have it hooked to the GoPro. So whatever the GoPro sees, then I'll see on my video screen here. Um, this is the actual screen that shows the live video. Uh, it's just a small uh, TFT monitor. I can display it on my laptop as well, or uh, it's just a standard RCA cable. So you could really you could use any type of uh, of monitor that you want. I, this one's just handy because it's portable and it's 12 volts, so I can use it out in the field if I want to. I have the laptop itself. Um, have a little wireless modem right here, and uh, this just communicates with the actual hexcopter. And the laptop's running the Mission Planner software. Um, this is the uh, open source software for the APM flight controller. And what's on the screen right now is just a, a little short test mission that we're going to fly. Uh, I can uh, go into more detail here later, but basically this is my house right here. So we're going to take off from here. We're going to fly this yellow line right here to waypoint 3. And then at waypoint 3, what it's actually going to do, it's going to be facing this direction down here. Um, it's going to start, it's going to turn to this marker right here, and this is what's called a region of interest. So as it goes from waypoint 3 uh, and on right here, it's actually going to curve around and stay focused on this region of interest. And once it's reached this waypoint 6 here, it's going to fly back to waypoint 7, and then at waypoint 7 it changes its region of interest to, uh, I just did it at my neighbor's house right here, so as it flies by the neighbor's house, it's going to automatically keep the camera and the quadcopter or the hexcopter pointed at this house. So once it's continued on to this last waypoint right here, it'll descend and then do what's called a return to launch. So it should land almost exactly the same place that it took off from. And so that's going to be the test flight that we're going to run. And a, a mission like this right here, this would take me, you know, about two or three minutes to, to write. It's actually is, is pretty intuitive. And, uh, this area right down here is the list of the actions. Uh, most of them are just waypoints, some of them are the regions of interest, and each one you set an altitude and a heading and a speed and, and all that kind of stuff. So it's, it's very configurable, and there's actually a lot of stuff you can do, far more than just the waypoints. Um, the screen that we're going to be actually looking at is this one right here. Uh, this is a Google Earth map right here, and it's actually going to show the mission that we're flying and then it's actually going to show the quadcopter's location on the map as it flies. Uh, this is, um, you know, shows my horizon right here so it'll actually display the attitude, yaw, and pitch of the hexcopter as it's flying as well as some other data. It'll give me battery data, uh, signal strength, and um, all that kind of stuff. It also reads out, um, you know, uh, basic flight telemetry, altitude, ground speed, um, my yaw, and, and pitch. And uh, basically, I'm going to control everything right here from the laptop. I'm, uh, I don't need to use my actual controller, which is this right here. Now, I do have it set up to where it won't fly unless this is linked. And the reason I'm doing that is just because I, I, uh, I want to be able to quickly take manual control of the helicopter in case something happens, in case I see a big altitude shift or something like that. So, And then there's the helicopter itself. Um, looks like there's a lot going on there. <laughs> Uh, I definitely could take some time to do a better job of routing cables and things like that, but uh, basically we've got our FPV camera right here, which I won't be using for this test flight, but uh, we can use this one just for navigation, and I'll actually be able to switch back and forth between the GoPro, what the GoPro sees and what this sees. This is what, what will be transmitted back to the ground station. So um, right now I'm running these two smaller batteries on here. It definitely has the capability to run larger batteries than these, but uh, this is all I got right now. So. And these two together give me a little bit, just, just under 10 minutes of flight time with all the equipment I have on here. Now this is my GPS antenna. Now this is the video transmitter right here. So this is what transmits the video from the GoPro back. Um, down inside this base plate here, uh, this antenna is for the wireless modem. And this is what links the laptop to the hexcopter. And then also down inside of there, I've got the flight controller and a magnetic compass and a, and a few other odds and ends. So... Uh, also, right now, you'll notice I'm running these cheap plastic props still. Uh, just the only reason I'm doing that is my carbon fiber ones haven't showed up in the mail yet. So um, I do have a couple different sizes and pitches of propellers coming. 
hopefully they'll give me a little bit better flight time, a little lower amp draw, better performance. So, um, and that's just about it. Uh, the GoPro itself is mounted on a gimbal. You can see it's kind of at a crazy angle right now, but what that gimbal does is it'll actually keep the GoPro uh, on, it'll keep it level while the quadcopter is flying, flying regardless of its, uh, of its attitude. So we'll plug that in and, and uh, give you a quick rundown of the quadcopter and check the video and then we'll send, send it on its way. Okay, so now our hexcopter is powered up, and you can see the GoPro leveled itself out. And you might notice no matter what way I move the hexcopter, the GoPro stays level. And that way I can stay focused on one subject in flight without worrying about it uh, coming off of uh, going, going outside of the focal area. So, All right, so we'll go ahead and we will connect the laptop to the quad copper. And while that's connecting, we can actually see right here on our small LCD screen exactly what the quad copter sees. So wherever I move the quad copter, you can see that change on the Screen. And you can also see my attitude right here as I move the quadcopter around, um, you know, my horizon readout changes. And it also is now showing the quadcopter's actual location on the uh, Google Earth map. Actually, it's off a little bit right now because the GPS hasn't located, but as I turn the hexcopter around, you can actually see that it changes the heading on the map. Right now it thinks it's out in the woods there just a little ways, but as soon as, uh, as, soon as it gets a GPS lock, then it will uh, read an accurate indication or accurate position. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take this thing outside and let it get a GPS fix, which should take less than a minute. And then it'll, uh, oh, actually it's got its fix right now. So we'll take it outside and then we'll go ahead and run our mission. Okay, we're going to go ahead and send it on its way. Mode change to auto. Mode change to alpha. Mode change to auto. Heading to waypoint two. Yeah, during this flight, we're going to be flying about, uh, I don't know, half a mile, three quarters of a mile from home. Because we're inside the shop, it's probably going to lose its link with the, uh, with the laptop. So it'll probably give us a couple warnings, but uh, the, video should, the video signal should stay reasonably clear. Warning. Battery at 10.39 volt, 89%. Data for 10 seconds. Okay, and that's the warning I was talking about. It uh, the laptop hasn't received any data from the quadcopter or from the hexcopter for a minute or two. But it's on its way back now, so it'll receive some data again in a second. Heading to waypoint nine. Okay, it should be getting fairly close outside, so we'll go ahead and 
walk outside and watch it land. And that's it, it's back at home.